Thinkorswim is a great platform to do research, and I think it just got a little bit more powerful and easier to use. So I just discovered that you can make Thinkorswim automatically draw your support and resistance lines, as well as trending lines. So in this picture here for O, or on this chart here, you can see like it has lines already drawn. And then that changes based on whatever time you're looking at. So if you go to one year, you can see it draws some different support and resistance lines. And you just see how that plays out. Here you can see O is in an uptrend, but if I switch to a smaller timeline, you can see that the current trend is actually downward because O has been dropping recently. And like this is really cool because this automatically plots on anything you do. Just to show that, I'm going to go to a different stock real quick. Let's go to Planeteer, why not? Or Paleteer. And you can see, again, we got the supports and resistance lines already drawn in. I'm going to go ahead and remove this Fibonacci so you don't see that. And you can see on the 20 day frame, it wasn't an uptrend. It looks like it broke down because here's that dashed line here and we broke down. Let's go ahead and go to a smaller time zone or time frame. And you see here's that trend line going down. Remember the trend is your friend, so it's very useful to have that all in there. And you can see that the supports and resistances look like they've actually been touched a couple times. Like this is really cool. And it's really simple to put on too. So if you've been watching some of my tutorial videos before, you know that you can edit studies in Thinkorswim. And you can click on this little flask icon, and this will show you all of your studies that you have currently on. I mean you're welcome to copy these if you want to, if you want to use the same things as I do. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this and show you guys how to put this on. Now, normally, what you would do is on the left here, you would search for that. And as you can tell, nothing comes up for that. Well, I guess it does know that I already put that in. But normally, nothing would come up for that. What you're going to need to do is when you're in here, click Create. You're going to delete this code here. And then click on the link in the video description below to get to this site and this guy has already made this code for you so you don't have to know how to do this yourself go ahead and copy all of this it's quite a bit look at all that work that he put in to make this for us how nice of him <laughs> right click copy then go back to thinkorswim and you're going to paste that in you can right click and click paste or if you're on windows you can do Control c to copy Control v to paste you know that sort of stuff and then go ahead and give it a name, auto support and resistance. Hopefully I didn't misspell that. <laughs> Click OK. And I can see I have this new script here that's put in. And I click apply. And that's what's going to make this script run for you. And it's just really useful because it just puts it all on there for you automatically. If you have difficulty determining where the supports and resistances are or trend lines now you can see like the program's going to do it automatically for you and then use that along with your other studies that you have on and you know you do, hopefully you do some better trading as a result i know this was a short video tutorial but if you guys liked it go ahead and click that thumbs up and see you guys next week